afternoon and welcome to another edition of Inventive Talk, brought to you by Inventive Prize. And today, as you can see, we've got quite a full room. Uh, we've got a lot of our latest young guns who've joined us from all over the world to come and uh, pick up a few digital entrepreneurial skills. So today we're going to talk about why they came here and where they come from and what they've been studying and what they would like to get out of their uh, Eventbrite Eventer Camp experience. Um, there is a link for further information that Aquina will pop into the comments box. So if you've got any questions, pop them into the uh, comments box and we'll get right back to you. So first things first, let's introduce ourselves. Uh, we're going to start here from the right hand side. Sia, do you want to just tell everybody who you are, what you've been studying, and, and, and uh, what you're doing at the Enterprise? Um, all right, um, my name is Siam Tanda Jiso. I am originally from Queenstown in the Eastern Cape, South Africa. Um, I was studying at City Varsity. Uh, I studied multimedia production and design. And um, here at Event Enterprise, I am a graphic design young gun. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot. And Karis? Hi, I'm Karis. I'm from Singapore. I study sociology in Singapore, but over here I am a digital business development intern. Fantastic. Thank you. Chow? Okay, so, uh, I'm Chow. I come from China. I'm a first year graduate in operations, analytics, and management. And now I'm a business analyst at Young Gun at Event Enterprise. Thank you. David? Hi, I'm David. I'm from France and I study digital and uh, advertising. Uh, and uh, at uh, Event Enterprise, I practice uh, go hiking. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Susanna. Hello, I'm Shoshana. I study information science and film at Cornell University. And here I am a videography and user experience young gun. Thank you, Tristan. Hi, my name is Tristan Guillemot. I'm from France too. I'm doing a Bachelor of Business and Administration. And here I'm doing a talent acquisition internship for Ever Enterprise. Wow, that's quite a mouthful. And that's a lot of different backgrounds and yeah. things that you guys are doing. So. Um, we can all now relax because we want to now chat about why you're yeah, here. So this is not a stiff presentation or anything. So what, what I would like to know is a lot of you, we've got people here from China, from Singapore, uh, from the States and from France. So all of you have traveled thousands of miles to come to uh, Eventerprise, yeah, uh, one hub here yeah, at the southern point of Africa, and to pick up hopefully a few digital entrepreneurial skills. Um, what for you was, was the number one reason why you chose? Because, I mean, if, if for example, Shoshana in the States, there's, there are plenty of tech companies there that you could have joined, um, you know, with your multi-skilled uh, study uh, routes that you're taking. Why, why did you decide you want to come to Cape Town to do your, your, your boot camp? Yeah. I think I particularly chose an enterprise because... Um, beyond the opportunities that exist here, I thought that coming here, you leave every aspect of your comfort zone at home. And so here, you're not only learning uh, for like personal growth, but also um, with what you're studying and applying it in like different um, ways in so many different projects and fields. It's really like, um, like solidified my decision to come here only in one week, <laughs> but I've loved it so far. And, and, and how closely was it aligned with what you envisaged that, you know, did you, did you felt mentally prepared for, for what was awaiting you? And be um, honest. I think, I think it was a transition. Just, I, well, I came straight from school from finals, so it was already chaotic. So, but in, in a good way, like finishing everything. So then coming here and starting something new is just a difference in a change of pace from like the actual projects I was working on. Fantastic. Um, Tristan, you, you're from uh, southwest of France, yeah? Exactly, yeah. And um, if, when, when you applied, um, if originally, did you, did you imagine the scope of what you would be looking after? Or, or was it, you know, which way did it go? No, actually, uh, when I applied for the Event Enterprise Internship, uh, I kind of knew the global task I was going to do, but really, I'm, I'm really impressed and really happy to work here because we get lots of uh, opportunities, but also lots of responsibilities, and it's what I was looking for for my internship. So, yeah. so far, do you, do you, Tristan, do you feel that you get a lot of uh, hands-on opportunity to uh, to get actively involved with projects? 
What do you mean by uh, that? Means instead of being theoretical, being more um, uh, focused on outcomes. Um, I I don't know. I w- I would say that yeah, I'm I'm really happy f- with what I what I learn here. Yeah. So practical, um, the practical skills that you're picking up. Oh um, mm-hmm. yeah, I learned quite a lot about all the CRM program. Okay. Uh, Are these tools that you've worked with before? We, we used to see a lot in class, the theory part, but here I can really find the practical part and how is it really going on. So I really learned how to use them more than how they are just in image. Or and, 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 and how's the English guy? Are you learning in, lots? Imp- <laughs> improving time after time. <laughs> yes, yeah, like the United Nations here. Yeah. Some days you're going to learn more French than English. <laughs> Um, Karis, I want to ask you a question. So I'm going to talk about tools and using, you know, in, in your studies that you've done before, um, what, your, your exposure to different digital tools and applications versus the amount of tools that you needed to, you tested the one for me, for example. Yeah. Um, do you feel that you're getting exposed to more tools and applications outside of your comfort zone that you used to before? Well, I actually worked in a high-tech startup before this, so, you know, I was exposed to HubSpot, Google Analytics, and Salesforce, but that was pretty much it. Over here, I'm definitely using, like, a wider range of tools, so, yes, I would say. Your your previous experience, was it it, an early-stage startup, or was it with a a more mature Mature startup? startup. Yeah, Yeah, so it was, like, 50. Employees. Okay, yeah, yeah. You, you, you'll find that the, the more uh, early stage company matures, the more settled it becomes. Mm-hmm. So it's still important to, to test your tools and to benchmark it against, you know, new competitors, etc. But in an early, uh, at the early stage that we add, you're going to find there's a lot of testing and discarding and etc. and finding out which one works the best for you. Um, David, why are you in Cape Town? In Cape Town? Uh, so... I did a lot of internships uh, before, so I was in Thailand, I was in Vancouver, Paris, and it was one of the time, it's the last continent, uh, so I would like, to, uh, it was very really important for me to, to travel and to, dec- to discover new, new places. And I have one friend, he did uh, one internship last year in an enterprise, okay. and he told me, uh, he, uh, he talked about his business, and I, and I said, okay, I really have to go. That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what is, it's, 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 this is now an open, open question to all of you. Um, when, when I was your age, uh, which is many, many, many years ago, um, I, I lived in Europe for, for quite a few years. But uh, except for making a bit of whiskey in Scotland, the rest <laughs> of the time I was causing trouble in France and trouble in Italy and Spain and not really... Uh, you know, uh, it was more backpacking type of type of work. Um, what would you? What is your advice and this open table to young people your age who are sitting with this decision that they need to make? You know, go and waste a lot of money and maybe get a few bar tending jobs or whatever versus coming to an environment where, on the one hand, you 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 expose the new culture, the travelling that that <coughs> mentioned here. But you're also under a, a lot of pressure to perform. You know, an internship, is, especially the type of boot camp style that we run, it's not f- fun and games. You know, you're being pushed the whole time to, to really give your best and to learn as much as you can. What, what would your advice be for someone who's sitting with that kind of decision, you know, um, instead of lying on the beach, why, why should you come to a place like this? Tristan, do you have a... Yeah, if I can see. Um, First of all, uh, traveling around the world and having the chance to see other cultures just is something that doesn't have any price for me. It's just memories uh, and so many, I don't know, experiences that you will never get home for sure. And yet that just open your mind, that just like show you all the, uh, the possibilities all around the world. And I would definitely tell someone to go outside, even if it's always scary at the beginning because we don't know what to expect, we don't know where we're going to go. But after a few weeks, and usually only one or two weeks, you get really, 
really used to the place and you really love it. Good. So my, my question was actually, um, the, the, you know, why should someone rather do an internship uh, in another country than go backpacking in another country? You know, there's two different value propositions there. The one is basically hanging around in pubs and on the beach. The other one is where you, you, you work. John, what, what do you think about that? Why, why, why are you not sitting on Clifton or Fourth <laughs> Beach right now? Okay, because uh, personally, I prefer faster growing. But if you want to uh, run faster than your peers, you leave the challenger platform and even the price is definitely this platform for you. And actually, I was very hesitating when I got the offer um, because I'm not sure whether it is worthwhile to come all the way to come to Cape Town to do an internship, not to mention there are some safety issues. But I convinced myself because if I don't dare to come to do this adventure in my 20s this time, I will probably, I will probably never going to do it. And I will probably never get the second chance to do it. So for me, I just simply seize the chance and come here. Fantastic. Thanks. That's a, that's a really, really cool answer. Um, Shoshana, you mentioned the, the, the fact uh, that you made this decision because it, it kind of forced you out of your comfort zone. So if, for, for all of you, if you had to rate after the first few weeks that you've been here on a, on a score out of zero to ten, how far are you out of your comfort zone right now? <laughs> Tristan, how much? Um, I would be six or seven because I'm quite easy. But it's I would expect nothing miss, more so. from a Frenchman. It's <laughs> very relaxed at six or seven. I'm, I have to say this food. <laughs> okay. Shoshana? I think I'd be about halfway and sometimes you like we found comfort, whether it's in like just meeting all of you guys or and within the office or without, but also just you remember that like Everything is totally different. You go home, and I don't, I don't know like which friends I'm gonna see. I don't have anyone who's like extremely familiar. And every day, whether it's coming to work with different projects or like your home life, like it's totally different. So it's it's always changing. Okay, so it's up and up and down yeah. depending on that. David, how would you rate your your um, comfort zone right now? Uh, um, I did what one when I was in Vancouver. Um, so it, it's a little bit similar because I knew. A little bit how to adapt myself about the uh, home, about uh, my work, uh, about to find friends. So uh, now it's a little bit easier to adapt myself when I prove a little bit my English. So now it starts to be better. Yeah. And uh, about the, my work, I really like here. Barry gave me a lot, gave me a lot of work, and uh, <laughs> it's difficult, but I really like because I like challenge. So. Fantastic. So that, that's a good funny. that's a good word that you're using there because when when I'm asking you guys to 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 score at what to what extent you're outside of your comfort zone, it is about are you being challenged? Because um, I was slightly worried about Tristan six. It needs to be more seven, eight, nine because that's that's what we're trying to do here. We want to give you the challenges that you feel that that pressure. Otherwise, it is not that real world environment and, and the go to market projects that we promised you in, in, in the agreement at the beginning. Um, Chabu, how do you feel? Do you feel that you in or outside your comfort zone? Definitely out of the, my comfort zone, <laughs> and and I also feel challenged and. I can't deny that I feel I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed with how many, uh, how much I need to learn and how quickly I need to adapt to the new environments. Because um, on my first day here, uh, my supervisor Barry has prepared me a list of projects he wants me he wants me to engage in, even though at that time he was not in South Africa. And on the first day, he already asked me what. My, ask my idea about how to implement a new reporting system. Actually, I never done that before. So. And, and, you, and you told him, "Sorry, Barry, I'm just sorting out my accommodation. I'll get back to you tomorrow." <laughs> yeah. So, so you feel? And now that you've been here for a, a few weeks, uh, do you feel that the challenge continues? That you that you're still being pushed to learn more? Yeah, I feel I'm pushed. Though. Always be pushed like, every day because I. I have to learn a lot of new tools I've never tried before. Actually, I may know the knowledge like the SQL, but I never use the tool like a database. 
So actually, it's a combination of my combine my knowledge I've learned and apply it into the practical course. application yeah. of your theoretical knowledge. Yeah, that, 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 that's fantastic. And that's usually when you start applying your knowledge where you discover, oh, but maybe there's an area that I don't know that much about yeah. and where you can actually learn more. And mm -hmm. um, being, you know, outside of the country and being challenged is one aspect. Another important aspect is, is what you do interesting. Karis? Yes. <laughs> so tell us, tell us more. I mean, you gave us a quick rundown of what you do here, but if you had to, if you had to identify what you find most interesting of what you're doing here on a daily basis, what, what of your task or projects do you find the most interesting? Task or project? We talk about the human aspect of <laughs> being in an office with like people from all different nationalities. Do you enjoy, do you enjoy that? Uh, I think it's very interesting to collaborate with people and mm. <laughs> realize that we have very different working styles. And also, this is the first time that I've worked in a team with so many digital marketers because you know in the past like it's probably me and my boss. So yeah. I'm just the only person doing a lot of tasks and it's just like touch and go. But over here, everybody is like deep diving into many different aspects of digital marketing, which I think is very interesting and I can learn a lot from everyone. Yeah. Cool, yeah. That's, um, and I think what, what it also does, and you can tell me if you disagree, it, it boosts your, your confidence and your skill level when it comes to communication. It's, you know, for example, because we all speak a different form of English, it's the lingua franca, yeah? <laughs> so um, I think you guys may struggle sometimes with my form of English, maybe a bit uh, <laughs> of a struggle for you to follow, <laughs> and, and, and vice versa, and it's finding ways to 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 communicate. See, I, I want to know from you, communication-wise, what are you what are you getting out of out of being here? Well, out of being here, Okay, like, first of all, I must say I'm also very out of my own comfort zone. Um, I was in a digital company because I was working for television, but it's very different because for me in the design side, there are formalities that have to go about, mm -hmm. about with the designs, like, and working with different people also, it's a first, and I love every aspect of it. But challenge-wise, I must say it has to be... Um, having to conform with uh, the, the, the formality of the designs. You cannot just create yes, as a formality, as a system, which definitely boosts my skills. Okay. And it, it increases um, knowledge and abilities because it, in, yeah. So, 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 so there's more to this, this communication thing for me because I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer that this kind of environment actually sets you up. It's the soft skills that often make the biggest impact on your future career. It's the, the things, you know, it's, it's one thing to be a math superhero. It's another thing to be able to communicate your your math discoveries in a, in a, in a way that has an impact. Um, I mean, obviously, as head of content, I have to say something like that. But I think it is important for, for everyone in, in any career. So in an environment like this, where we have to work really fast, very fast paced and interact, etc. Have you got a? Have you felt that the the communication infrastructure? And I'm talking about the pool, the tools for collaboration, the tools for rapid communication. Have you have you felt that that is that is helping you? It's something that that you've either had before that you now um, feel that it's it, it lives up to your expectation, or you've never been in an environment where uh, communication is this rapid. And I know it is quite fast, yeah. Do you feel that the communication at a enterprise is um, done in a way that is productive or not? What is what is your take on that, Tristan? For me, uh, so when when I arrived at the beginning, I have to say that was kind of difficult because every day we nearly have more than hundred notifications from everywhere from everybody. So it takes time to get used to. But when you get used to, it's I find it really. Um, and I forget my English word. Uh, uh, really, really um, direct. I mean, you you need something. You know, or you can directly ask the person, or you will send it to the group. But you know that you will get your answer in the five minutes. So that's really good because some of the people of the company are abroad also. For example, mm -hmm. Goat, our boss. 
And so it's really useful when we can ask him a question and have a, an answer back in just a few minutes. Thanks, and that, that, that's it's, it's uh, great that you've mentioned that. The fact that we've got a distributed system with, with teams in India and mm -hmm. in San Francisco, or all over the world. So what do the rest of you guys think? Uh, have you learned a lot about communication since you've been here? Um, David, you've done a few rounds at, that, at other places. Uh, How do you think our communication systems live up? No, about the communication levels, I had the opportunity to work for Google program. So about the communication, uh, we I learned uh, I learned a lot. <coughs> Sorry, and uh, here at Everton Prize, I will say really the communication is is really good. And uh, if I um, about for me personally, um, it's not exactly about the communication, but I, uh, what I really like here, it's before about my last experiences, I, I worked and what I did, it was, I knew what I did about digital, but never I used the tool, never I go really deeper. And with Barry, it's really what I do this week and uh, I start this week a lot. And that's difficult, that's really technical, but uh, it's the growth, growth marketing that you that yeah, you exactly, with now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's some uh, interesting stuff there. Yeah, that's a lot of um, work and yeah, concentration, but that's perfect. It's exactly what I want. That's cool. So, how about how about you? What do you want to say something? Yeah, I want. I want to say I like the way we communicate. Uh, maybe because of the open structure of the office, um, it's very easy to generate a conversation with anyone in the office, even the co-founder, supervisor or the co-workers in the other department. If you have any question, you simply interrupt and uh, they are very willing to help you and uh, there's no hierarchy thing and it's all about open communication. No silos, that's the other thing. We, we, we don't have silos here, so you tend to work quite closely with, with all the, the different departments. Um, Karis, what's, what's your take on, on communication? Do you feel the communication is good? Yes. Good. Yeah, I like, yeah, I like the open office and the fact that it's very small. Um, you can just like shout. <laughs> <laughs> get your yeah, right. So before we, we run out of time, I just want to give everybody sort of their, their last say when it comes to um, what they hope to take out of this. But your final word is basically when you finish your event enterprise, event camp internship, what is what is the one key thing that you would like to have um, grown in? Which aspects, etc. And so, yeah, it's, I think we start with you. Um, for me, it has to be in the digital design side. Um, I'm more like I've been doing more of like printing and um, and that kind of design. So like I would love to actually increase or improve well into the digital communication design um, in all forms of digital. So I, that's, that's exactly and I, and I think we're going to get lots of opportunity to do that, yeah. Karis, what would you like to, what is the top skill or, or, or insight that you would like to take away after your few months, yeah? I want to be a, a confident owner of projects here. So I want to say that I have done this, 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 and all worked out well or not. And project management is yeah. these days a very important skill, almost in any any profession that you're in. Thanks, that's a good one. Cha? Uh, for me, I I not only want to be more proficient at certain skills, uh, like the Google Analytics or Metabase or something, uh, I want more personal growth, like. I want to develop into a, a more assertive leader in the team. I'm very glad that you say that. I think it's important that from uh, you know from from the management team's perspective, for us it's very important and, and very it makes us very happy when we see personal and leadership growth and yeah. you guys as well. It's not just about learning how like you yeah. said, learning how to do one specific thing really well. Uh, that's also important, but it needs to be balanced out with your, your personal leadership growth as well. So I think what would you like to take away with you? Well, Except for some good bottles of South African wine. <laughs> 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 uh, what I keep, because uh, I really like to go deeper in this uh, uh, 
activities. So because uh, yeah, like I said, I some I, I didn't go deeper. So and now it's the opportunity to not to say with Barry, okay, we have to do that, and after we give this project to someone. No, I really would like to do myself. Mm -hmm. So you so, would, do I understand correctly? You would like to run your project all the way exactly. to its culmination. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. And that is and that also you're, you're all making really good points here today. That's also <laughs> an important point because part of the part of the reason why, uh, in my opinion, why the uh, event enterprise in terms of some more boot camps than in terms of is the fact that you run your you, you 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 start with the conceptualization of the projects you put them in place the project management aspect etc and then you have to have the leadership and, and confidence etc to run it all the way and the perseverance to run it all the way through to its conclusion very good point Shoshana what are you taking back to the states I think I'm um, I look forward to the various different design projects I'm working on and um, taking some like a final product at the end to look back on um, or to do further research on to like explore more of something that I'm passionate about. So something within um, becoming more well-rounded designer. Fantastic. Yeah, and it's, if I can highlight one point of what you just said is that portfolio aspect, the fact that you could say it links with what David said, that, you, that you're running a project to its uh, a combination or till it enters the market so you can say you know what I've done it all the way through and it's in your portfolio I think it's important for you as well so yeah Tristan last but not least yeah. uh, what are you taking back to La France for me <laughs> for me they would have two things I really would like to bring back so first is related to my department so which is talent acquisition I have to say when I arrived here I nearly start from scratch I only knew the theoretic stuff but here in only one week and a half I already start to manage to understand lots and I didn't expect that so I hope that in three months I will be the next really good hiring people. <laughs> yeah, you might be the next hiring manager for, for Citroën or <laughs> <Who knows? laughs> And yeah the other thing is um, I'm a boy and we all know that boys usually have difficulties to manage different tasks. And here, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here we open many tasks and have to work all of them all the time. And that's really good. I, I start to get no just just right now used to that. And I hope that in the in the future I will be able to end in many yeah. different and that's tasks. also a very important skill to pick up. But just, guys, this I really, really enjoyed this. Thank you so much. I had a great you. time. You, you all mentioned some really important stuff out there. If I could just quickly summarize, um, for every, anyone watching this, um, we, we're running these event accounts right through the year because um, it is a go-to-market business. Uh, if you are interested in honing some skills, gaining some insights, building up a portfolio within the digital and entrepreneurial uh, spheres, then do get in contact with us. Uh, there are loads of opportunity to really, um, for all the reasons that these guys mentioned, yeah, don't listen to what I'm saying. Um, uh, loads of reasons to, to join us and to fast track your career. Um, as I said at the beginning of this broadcast, if you would like to learn more, just pop us a comment. There will be a link that you can click as well to see all the opportunities that we've got an offer at the moment. And you can send us through your application. We would love to hear from you. Thank you very much for joining us. And see you next week, same time. Cheers. Bye-bye. Yeah.